Imagine you win a million dollars overnight. Now, what's the first thing you would buy with all that money? If you need some inspiration, we've got stories of lottery winners who went all out with their first million in ways that'll make your jaw drop. Let's have a look at some of these wild spending sprees. Number 7. The Rainbow Sherbet In 2012, Louise White of Rhode Island became an overnight sensation by winning a colossal $336.4 million Powerball jackpot. The story behind her win is as delightful as it is unique. It all began when one of her family members started craving rainbow sherbet. And so Louise decided to take them to a store to get the dessert. It was the same store where Louise decided to purchase a lottery ticket. The very ticket that would turn out to be worth millions. Then, Louise did something really smart. The first thing she did with her lottery money was to set up a trust fund. She called it the Rainbow Sherbet Trust, after the lucky dessert that led her to buy the ticket. This trust was made to help her family, and it was her unique way of saying thanks to her lucky dessert and making sure her family was taken care of. Where Louise used her winnings to do something for her family, this next couple did something for everyone around them. Number 16. Water Park John and Linda Kuti were a happy couple living in Green Island, New York, and in March 2011, something amazing happened to them. John, who worked at the New York State Homes and Community Renewal, bought a Mega Millions ticket with his coworkers. And guess what? They won the massive $319 million jackpot on March 25, 2011. After splitting the prize, John and Linda ended up with $19 million. They wanted to do something special with their money. They wanted to give back to their community and honor their parents. So what did they do? Well, they went to their hometown officials and asked them how they could help. The officials had a great idea, building a water park for the community. John and Linda loved it. They donated 200 grand to build a spray park in Green Island. Now kids and families have a cool place to hang out in the summer. How awesome is that? John and Linda's decision was just perfect, and they would always be happy about it, unlike this next winner who spent his winnings on a thing that he regretted later. Number 15. Wrestlelicious This is the story of Jonathan Vargas. In 2008, this 19-year-old from South Carolina just wanted some iced tea and gas, so he stopped at the Casey Raceway station. On a whim, he bought his first lottery ticket. And guess what? On May 17, 2008, he hit the jackpot, winning a massive $35.3 million in the Powerball. His life turned upside down. What do you do with all that cash? Well, Jonathan had a wild idea. He started an American women's wrestling TV show called Wrestlelicious Takedown. Pretty cool, right? In 2009, they released a trailer to hype up Wrestlelicious. The show finally aired in March 2010, two years after his big win. They signed several wrestlers, and the show had lots of matches. Jonathan even appeared on the show as J.V. Rich. Later, he thought about making a reality TV show based on Wrestlelicious. The show was a success overall, but there were rumors that he had some regrets about how he spent his winnings. Well, spending it all on a show is one way to go, right? Like Jonathan, this next winner spent his money on something he loved, but never regretted it ever. Number 14. Marijuana Bob Erb's story from Terrace in British Columbia is a bit different. In 2012, he was on his way to his dad's funeral in Calgary. During his stop at a gas station, he bought some lottery tickets. It wasn't his first time buying a lottery ticket. He'd been buying for 43 years now, and to his luck, he won $25 million. But here's the thing. Bob was already pretty well known in Terrace, and not for the lottery. Back in the 2001 provincial election, he ran for the BC Marijuana Party. His whole campaign was about legalizing and decriminalizing marijuana. He even gave out free joints while campaigning. Now, with all this lottery money, Bob decided to really push for marijuana legalization. He spent about a million dollars on his campaign and supported the federal NDP because they were all for legalizing it too. It's not every day you hear about a lottery winner using their money like this, right? While some spend money on things everyone can benefit from, others decide to use their winnings to improve just their life. Number 13. Dream Home 
Laura and Roger Griffith's story starts with a lottery ticket and a $3.6 million win. Roger was an IT manager, and Laura taught performing arts at a local college. They were smart, but managing this much money, that was new to them. So what did they do? Well, Roger quit his job and they invested in everything they could think of. And then they decided to spend their winnings. They went for it and bought their dream house for $1.6 million. They didn't stop there. A shiny new Porsche convertible and a Lexus SUV soon followed. Their two daughters got enrolled in private schools, which cost them 40 grand a year. Then came their shopping spree. Laura and Roger loved shopping. They splurged on jewelry, designer clothes, you name it. Then came the vacations. They went on fancy trips to Dubai, Monaco, and Rome. First class all the way. And just like that, their millions were spent on living their dream life, one luxury at a time. Laura and Roger spent their money on just about everything except one important thing. Interestingly, this was precisely what the next couple chose to invest in first and foremost. Number 12. Personal Advisor Merle and Patricia Butler were a retired couple from Red Bud, Illinois, and when they won, they had a different approach to their lottery win. They struck it big, winning around $158 million before taxes. Unlike many others, the Butlers didn't rush to spend their fortune. Instead, they took a thoughtful step. Their first move was to meet with financial advisors. Instead of dreaming up ways to spend their windfall, they focused on how to invest it wisely. They wanted to make sure their money would last and work for them. So they decided to use a good chunk of their winnings to get advice from financial planners and attorneys. It wasn't about flashy cars or luxurious trips for the butlers. They believed getting professional guidance was the best use of their money. And guess what? It turned out to be a really smart decision for them. However, this next person was not so smart about her winnings. Number 11. Gambling Let us tell you about Evelyn Adams. She's a New Jersey woman with unbelievable luck. She won the lottery twice within six months, back in 1985. The first time, she won a whopping $4.95 million, and just four months later, she hit another jackpot of 1.4 mil. Imagine that! Evelyn was working in a convenience store when Fortune smiled at her, but then her story took a twist. With all that cash in hand, she headed to Atlantic City. The bright lights of the casinos called her name, especially the slot machines. It was like a dream, right? But as time went by, Evelyn's dream started to fade. She kept playing, and the money kept slipping away. Fast forward a few years, and she had spent it all. From living the high life, Evelyn ended up in a trailer home. Quite the roller coaster, huh? Makes you think about the butlers and their smart choices. However, Evelyn still spent her first million on something she enjoyed, just like this next couple. Number 10. Mediterranean Cruise Paul and Denise Hardway's story from Cardiff is like a fairy tale. Paul was a chef and Denise was a bakery supervisor. They were living the typical hard-working life in 2015. They barely saw each other because of their jobs. Then something worse happened. Paul found out he was going to lose his job. So what did they do? They added an extra line of lucky dip numbers to their lottery ticket. And guess what? They hit the jackpot, winning $5 million. Being huge rugby fans, they had their big check presented at the Millennium Stadium by none other than the legend Gareth Edwards. And guess what was the first thing they did? Paul and Denise quit their jobs and hopped on a cruise to the Mediterranean. They wanted to let their win sink in, away from it all. When they got back, they paid off their mortgage and bought their dream house in Somerset. They literally had their life turned around in a day. While Paul and Denise focused on treating themselves first with their lottery win, this next person put the needs of others before her own. Number 9. Breast Implants Sarah Cockings was a social work student when she hit the jackpot in 2005, winning an impressive $4.2 million. Now, you might think she would splurge on herself, right? But no, Sarah had other plans. She'd always been super close with her family and believed her win was as much theirs as it was hers. So what did she do? She went all out for her loved ones. Sarah bought her parents a new house, treated them to vacations, and even got them cars. And her generosity didn't stop there. 
She also took care of her siblings, including giving money to her sister for her breast augmentation. That's how Sarah used her first million. Like Sarah, this next person didn't forget his family members while spending his first million. Number 8. Vacation for All Nigel Willits from Carafilly had a pretty normal life in 2014, running his own pub. He spent his days waiting tables, pouring drinks, and ensuring everyone had a great time. Then something extraordinary happened. He won $1.27 million in the Euro Millions raffle. So what did Nigel do with his winnings? Well, he decided to see the world, but not alone. He started by taking 13 family members on a dream vacation to Florida over the holidays. And what about his pub? Well, he's still got it. Nigel runs the place with a little help from his sister. But that's not all. He also invested his lottery money in something fun, two trampoline parks in Cardiff and Swansea. It seems like Nigel found the perfect balance between enjoying his winnings and keeping his beloved pub going. But unlike Nigel, who enjoyed and shared his winnings, this next woman's story didn't have quite the happy ending. Number 7. Shopping Spree this is the story of Viv Nicholson from Yorkshire. Her life changed overnight when her husband won a whopping $193,000 in 1961. And then the woman went on a spending spree like no other. Within just two months, she was burning through cash at $1,700 a week. First up, Viv bought a fancy $5,000 bungalow. Then the cars a sleek silver Chevrolet, and a flashy pink Cadillac. And her hair? She went all out, dyeing it shades of pink champagne blonde, then green, yellow, and blue. Viv loved her fashion, too. She bought countless frocks, furs, and shoes. In fact, this one time, she purchased 14 pairs of shoes in one go. Now, it's hard to imagine what happened to her afterward. In just five years, all that money was gone. Viv went from being a rich wife to someone who had an empty purse. It's a real-life story of rags to riches and back again. Unlike Viv, this next winner used her first million in the smartest ways. Number 6. Political Donations Janet Lee's story is quite unique. In 1993, at 60 years old, she won a staggering $18 million. Instead of splurging on luxuries, Janet had other ideas. She decided to use a significant chunk of her winnings to support the Democratic Party in St. Louis. But that wasn't all. Janet was incredibly generous. She donated a lot of her money to the University of Washington. Thanks to her, they built a library with a reading room in the law school, named in her honor. It still doesn't end there. When her stepdaughter graduated, Janet made another hefty donation, earning her a spot on the parents' honor roll as a Life Elliott benefactor. But like many stories of lottery winners, Janet's had a sad ending. She also dabbled in gambling. Fast forward eight years and Janet's fortune was gone. Just like Janet, this next couple shared their first million with others. Number 5. Family Treasure George and Beryl were an English couple who really hit the jackpot in 2012. Against the odds of 14 million to one, they won 4.45 million US dollars. Now, you might be wondering what they did with all that cash. Well, they did something pretty heartwarming. They decided to share their windfall with their family. Each of their four sons got a generous $31,000. Their nine grandchildren each received $12,000. And they didn't forget about their siblings either, making sure to give them a share as well. Now, even after all that giving, they had some money left. Guess what they did with it? Well, they figured, why not try their luck again? Some of that leftover cash still goes toward buying more lottery tickets. So, in a way, they're still keeping their dream alive. While George and Beryl decided to include everyone in their winnings, the next winner kept the money to herself. Number 4. Funding the Dream In 2018, Charlie Lagarde turned 18 years old, so she decided to take a chance and play the lottery. And you know what? She won it! It was her first time playing the lottery and she won it! Charlie was given a choice, take a lump sum of $1 million or take 776.73 USD every week for the rest of her life. She went with the weekly option. Why, you ask? Well, Charlie had a dream. 
she wanted to take photography classes, and that weekly option was just perfect to fund that. By choosing the weekly payments, she secured a steady income to support her passion. And if you do the math, it is a smart move. Let's say Charlie lives a long, full life. Over 60 years, that weekly $776.73 will add up to 2.4 million USD. So, Charlie's decision to go for the weekly payout is an investment in her future. Pretty clever, right? While Charlie invested in her future, this next woman spent her first million on something she'd been dreaming of for ages. Number 3. Disney World Tiana is one lucky lady from Colorado. She had a stroke of good fortune in June 2022 when she won a sweet $3 million in the lottery. So what was the first thing she wanted to do with her newfound wealth? Now she decided to treat her family to a special vacation. Her destination of choice was none other than Disney World. She whisked her little ones off to the Magical Kingdom for an unforgettable experience. While many lottery winners might think of paying off bills, saving for retirement, or splurging on new cars, Tiana had one other idea in her mind – owning a ranch. It had been a long-standing dream of hers. That's how she chose to spend her first million. While Tiana spent the money on herself and her family, this next person decided to spend it on complete strangers. Number 2. Gift Cards for Strangers Crystal Dunn from Kentucky had a moment of incredible luck. She won $146,351 right after placing a $20 instant play wager. Once she picked up and deposited her check, she had a unique idea for her first spending spree. Her next stop was Meyer, a well-known supermarket chain. There, she did something pretty extraordinary. Crystal bought $2,000 worth of gift cards. But then she did something heartwarming. She started handing them out to complete strangers shopping in the store. Crystal felt she had received a gift and believed strongly in the idea of paying it forward. So she chose to spread some joy and generosity among the people around her. As for the rest of her winnings, Crystal bought a car and paid off her bills. It was a thoughtful and kind way to start using her lottery winnings. Now, after hearing about Crystal's generous spirit, let's turn our attention to the winner of the biggest jackpot ever in America. How did he spend his first million? Let's find out. Number 1. Hollywood Dream Home Edwin Castro won a whopping $2.04 billion in the Powerball drawing of November 2022. The man chose the lump sum option, netting $997.6 million. And guess what? He used to live in a modest one-bedroom house when he won, so Edwin made grand plans for his first big purchase. He set his sights on the California real estate market, securing not one, but two multi-million dollar homes. From living in a one-bedroom house, Edwin moved to a 14,000-square-foot mansion that has five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and an incredible infinity pool. It's a true rags-to-riches story. Hey, did you enjoy these amazing stories about how lottery winners spent their first million? Then you're gonna love what's coming up next. Check out our next video to see the dumbest first purchases ever made by lottery winners. You won't believe some of the crazy things people have bought. Just click to watch and get shocked.